All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So just wrapped up a uh, quick game of basketball here, about to head on into work in a little bit, but we just had a report come out from Rich Samini of ESPN surrounding two pending free agents on this New York Jets team. Number one, wide receiver Braxton Berrios, and number two, defensive tackle Foley Fadakasi. Now, inside the report, it basically said that both players are likely to test free agency, okay, likely to hit the market. And it also included some of the details, some of the numbers, on what these players and what these players' agents are going to be asking for annually. As far as Berrios is concerned, that number, according to Samini, is going to be somewhere around $9 million a year. Okay, $9 million a season. First reaction, instant reaction here, that's a little high. That is a little high for me. I love Braxton Berrios. I love how he attacks the game of football. I love how I love I love how tough he is. He doesn't shy away from hits. He's not afraid to go over the middle. He doesn't drop passes. He's reliable. He's durable. He continues to get better. He's a relatively young player. He's entering year four here. He has chemistry with Zach Wilson. Mike LaFleur is drawing up plays for him in critical situations. I love Braxton Berrios, but $9 million a season, that, that's a lot of money. And then you picture a four-year deal, a three-year deal. I, I can understand it, but I think I think if I was Joe Douglas here, I would I would try I would really, really try to get that number down. So if I was Joe Douglas, I think I would try to get in the range of somewhere between six to seven million dollars annually. I think that's not only just realistic, but it's fair for Braxton. And also understanding that that Barrios, you know, he's coming off the best season of his career. Obviously, him and his team are going to be coming in hot uh, with a pretty high number uh, I mean, to start the negotiation process. I don't feel like the $9 million is some sort of floor or, hey, it's going to take $9 million for us to start negotiating. I don't really see a situation like that. I, I feel like it's pretty well known, uh, not only just with the Jets organization, but... Uh, within the Barrios camp, uh, you know, amongst fans across the NFL, that $9 million is a pretty high uh, asking price for it to be a floor, if that makes any sort of sense. To kind of put it in perspective, we actually signed uh, Keelan Cole this past offseason to a one-year $5 million, or a little over $5 million, and Jamison Crowder took a pay cut to get somewhere in that $5 million range uh, as well. I believe it was $5.5 million. So, and again, I think it's realistic and I think it's fair uh, for a guy of Braxton's caliber. So moving on to uh, Fadakasi here, this one's interesting, okay, because the number that was dished out was $8 million. And you look at, man, you look at Fadakasi in the running game, the guy is great. Like, I really, really like what he brings to the table as far as stopping the run. He clogs holes, but here's the issue here. And by the way, Fadakasi, not only is he just a homegrown guy, but he's not 35, 36 years old on, you know, on the decline of his career. He is entering his prime. Okay, he's entering his prime and he has put together a solid NFL career so far. I, at some point, I want to keep our homegrown talent. I, I mean, it, it's... It's almost sickening to constantly see guys getting drafted. They have productive seasons here and there. And, and then they just get traded away. Um... That's a little side tangent, but look, as far as that $8 million price tag, I think honestly for the play, I think it's worth it. But here's the issue. The Jets already have so much money invested in the defensive line. We already know Carl Lawson is on a mega deal. Okay. I mean, not sorry, scratch that, not a mega deal, but he's on a big money contract. Okay. That three-year deal, obviously he didn't play a single snap last season. He's on a big contract. We owe him a lot of money. John Franklin Myers, we re-signed and, you know, relatively big contract moving forward. Quinn and Williams extension is going to be coming up soon. So how much, and by the way, we still have all of these needs. We still need tight end. We still need safety, arguably corner, wide receiver, O-line. I mean, there's a lot of positions here, okay, that the Jets have to fill. With all of this money invested currently, Sheldon Rankins obviously is going to be on the roster for next season as well. You know, with all this money invested in the D-line, will the Jets bring him back? You know, will the Jets do it? I don't know. I think $8 million is a good deal for Fadakasi, but man, I just feel like we have so many other needs right now. I just don't know if Joe Douglas will pull the trigger. And again, to kind of put in perspective, I know it's a different position here, but linebacker Draw Davis got a one-year $8 million deal. So I don't really feel like eight mil is that high for what he brings to the table, but we'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Can't wait to check them out. Uh, enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow. It should be awesome. I can't wait for it. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll touch base soon. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.